is still definitely a stigma, even though society is changing. Um, people are still judged on how they how they look and how they present themselves. You do still get like the older generation kind of commenting saying you do realise that you have these tattoos for your life. But saying that, you can't just say, oh, wait for the older generation to die off. Because then there's still some conservative young people who are like, no, I associate tattoos with bikers. I associate tattoos with gangsters. I associate tattoos with terrorists. And it's just not like that anymore. If you look at me, I have anime tattoos. It's the least threatening thing in the world. I think it is getting more accepted, so that's nice. You see a tattoo apparel in every small town, for God's sake. Pink fingers custom tattoo. Even just recently, the McDonald's had vote on TV with the young lady with a tattoo on her neck serving a chicken, whatever it was, do you know? Didn't you want to see that back in the day, no? In the last 10 years, there's a huge uh, growth in kind of even older customers that we have coming in. A lot of our customers, believe it or not, now are, you know, men and ladies in their, you know, twilight years, if you will. They may have been thinking about getting a tattoo for like 20 years and just, you know, thought it was unachievable or not for them. So to be honest, they're my favorite customers. I love to see them coming. I got my first tattoo when I was 17 years old because um, I wasn't old enough to get it done by myself. Uh, my dad had to bring me in, so it was nice, kind of like a family bonding element to it. I got my first tattoo when I was, I'd say it was before my 15th birthday and it was my butterflies on my back on my left shoulder. I was in the middle of a very stressful leaving cert doing all my subjects and I went to my mum and was just like hey you know what I want for Christmas? A tattoo and her reaction was lovely it was just I don't agree with it but you're 18 now so you know she was very nice about that. I think I started late I got my first tattoo when I was 20 to impress a girl because uh, I'm an idiot so it was barbed wire. So there's me and Pamela Anderson that are barbed wire. It was a piece of tribal. Like most people back in the 80s, tribal was a big thing. It's long gone since I'd have covered up a long time ago. For me, it's hard to describe what tattoos would mean. But if I had to choose, it would be reflective or reflections. But also, two words would be hidden stories. Uh, my favorite tattoo is the tattoos on my feet. Um, we always kept dogs in our family. So again, it's kind of that family element. and. Uh, yeah, when our last dog passed away in the family, I decided to get his paw prints done on my feet. So, yeah. Before my 13th birthday, my father passed away and I got these butterfly tattoos to represent him because after he passed away in, it was Christmas, winter time, and I was finding butterflies around me, following me, uh, like during the snow, it was snowing, it was lashing rain and there'd be butterflies all around the place. So I wanted to get a tattoo of butterflies, but my father got cremated and I came up with the idea of going to some tattoo artist in Atlone that would tattoo a 15 year old girl and you know who's a bit dodgy and whatever and do like a freehand tattoo but I, I asked him to put the ashes into my tattoo and um, yeah so now I have him there on the back on my back for life and it's just behind my heart so I think it's nice. Tattoos are amazing they're freedom of expression and um, I think in the current climate with all the restraints that people have on their lives. Any way that you can express yourself when you're not hurting anybody else is to be welcomed and celebrated. Looking back on my tattoos as they aged and, and I've had them for such an amount of time, I reflect on them as a marker in different points of my life. It's, it's not just aesthetic, it's, a, it's like a time capsule on your body. A release. Tattoos are a really good release. I got my tattoos because I had a history of self-harm, and I still do, unfortunately. But I can now look down at my arm and I see the scarecrow from Howl's Moving Castle. Before I got this scarecrow, there was a big scar there because I fucking jammed a knife in it. Like, it was, you know, that's just what happens. That's the stigma attached to it. And then that kind of brings in, you know, what has more of a stigma? You know, a scar there or a really nice tattoo? That makes me feel really good about myself. And it's like something I really love and something I'm very passionate about. And it's that kind of idea, you know, it's that release that allows you to go out in public. And I can wear my shirt with rolled up sleeves now and not have to worry about anyone staring. Or if they are staring, they're staring at the really pretty pictures. Uh, it's that kind of, you know, it, it allows people a second chance, almost. And I think that's super important for people. So, yeah. Thank you. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank you for being so awesome.